on everybody, Mega Mandy here, and I'm here talking about my top five new ORAS features. This is my opinion, no one else's, so just be aware of that. And we're gonna jump right in. And starting off at number five, DexNav. The DexNav helps you keep track of what you caught. If you ever look down the screen, it will have like what Pokemon you've caught. And then it's also it helps you find Pokemon easier if they're rustling wrestling in the grass or anything like that. But then you um one thing I don't like about it is that it could ruin exploring the exploring concept. You're trying you're trying to explore see what different Pokemon are in different routes. It could ruin that kind of feeling for some people. But for me it didn't because I didn't usually I didn't I was trying to finish the story, not catch as many Pokemon. So that's just, that's just my opinion. And at number four, we have Primal Reversion and the New Megas. The, the New Mega Evolutions are stronger, they're newer Pokemon, and they're mostly Hoenn, so of course I like them, because Hoenn's my favorite region. Um, it opens up for um, the, new, the next, hopefully, remakes of Sapphire, or not Sapphire, they, already, they just did that. <laughs> I suck. I'm just kidding. Anyway, guys, um, the remakes of Pearl, Diamond, and possibly Platinum, and for Primal Dialga to be in the games and Primal Palkia, I would I would be okay with that. I do not want Megas for those two though. Um, also, also, it could they end up ruining the my fav uh, the, our favorite Pokemon? Cause most people, some people didn't play Hoenn, some people did did and they really liked it but i these are my favorite pokemon to talk about i don't want them ruined or anything so if you're sitting there making my lodic look like a boy like what they did with mewtwo and turn him into a girl that you gotta keep the same feeling for the pokemon you can't just all of a sudden change them i'm not, I'm not trying to gender equality though but you just got it's just, you can't do that it's just not right Okay, next we have the soaring ability for number three. You can now catch legendaries in a whole new way, which the way is pretty cool in my opinion. I wouldn't change it. Maybe see new Pokemon with it, because now you can you can also see the whole region completely in three D. It's it took me away when I first did it, and every time I do it, it's just, I just have to sit there for five minutes flying around, which gets to my next point. It ruins flying. Um, I don't use really use flying as much as I used to unless I want to get straight to a route that I don't, don't want to waste any time or I'm trying to get to the, the battle mansion. But I don't really use the flying ability anymore. It just doesn't comprehend with it, my needs. The soaring ability get, gets you get to find more, and I don't really need to use flying anymore. So maybe they could add more Pokemon to the flying ability or get just straight out get rid of flying on general because you didn't really use fly until you got the four tree and the Latius and Latios you get even before that so just give let us use them bef get like any Pokemon and just use Eon flute or for them and then maybe something else for them I don't know I'm just rambling but it's a possibility and for number two, we have route flying. Um, you can now fly to like a sp specific place, like Mount Pryor, and you can also fly to routes. You can. It's now easier to get to where you want, and it's just easier to get where you want. Like if you wanted to get to Mount Pryor, it you don't fly straight there, like like straight to the top or wherever you want to go. You f fly straight to the bottom. You gotta go up. And stuff like that, and but could it ruin the exp un the exploring concept similar to what we had beginning about the Dex Nav? Could this ruin the exploring concept? Now you're trying to fly around, you're trying to, or not, you're trying to explore or find new things. And if you're flying straight to the thing you want to find, that could ruin the flying experience. So. And lastly, for number one, the good old Hoenn feeling. 
um, for Sapphire and for Ruby and for Emerald, people that played this, you know what I'm talking about. It just felt n nice to see this in 3D and hear it all over again. And the return of my, some of my favorite Pokemon, for instance, Torkoal and Altaria, which I used to turn got a Mega Evolution, got Afro, so, you know, can't complain about that. And it brings me back to Sapphire when I originally played it when I when I was like two and just felt great getting to play it again. Just seeing it in a whole new way. I barely remember playing it because, you know, it came out just a few years after I was born. Um, but it still felt great to be able to play through it again. And anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. And comment which one of these was your favorite. And also, I am back on Twitter. Um, I've been gone for Thanksgiving, so that's why I'm publishing this video now. Also, I will hopefully be having card videos, because I'm trying to get that to work out. Anyway, guys, goodbye.